Here I'm going to demonstrate how you find uh, top dead center using a piston stop. In this head here, we have what's called a piston stop, and it looks just like a screw, which it is pretty much just a glorified spark plug with a screw in the center of it. There's our piston stop. You can see the bottom of it looks like a spark plug. I put that nut in there to lock it. This one is coarse thread. Uh, if it's fine thread, it certainly would be a little bit easier to use. Um, so I've locked it. So I take the piston stop and I put it in the engine, remove the spark plug at top dead center. And I screw it down there until, until it stops. And then we're going to rotate it one direction and where it stops, make a mark. Then we're going to rotate it the other direction where it stops, make another mark. And then if you look at this car up here, I've already done that. The blue paint mark with the narrow black mark in the center of it is top dead center on the balancer. So the black mark over here is where it stopped in one direction. And the black mark here is where it stopped in the other direction. So then I take another piece of tape and make it exactly the same length. And I fold it in half. And that is my true top dead center. So on this particular engine, it's about a degree and a half advanced before top dead center. Because my red mark is my cam sensor mark, which is 25 degrees after top dead center. So in my crank reference angle, I'm not going to adjust for this. I'm actually going to adjust for it on the pointer. In the pointer is right here. So I will bring this mark up with the new mark, which is probably gonna be right somewhere between the valley and half of the peak there, and drill a teeny hole, make a mark. So when I shoot it with my timing light and do my base timing, I know where it is. Um, we're gonna demonstrate this on the stock engine, just so we can, because uh, I really can't show you on that engine because it's everything's in the way. It's got a front mount or a stock location intercooler. So let me put the stop in and rotate it and make some marks and I'll come back. All right, so here's the first rotation. You can see this my big black mark is where it stopped. So now I'm going to reverse the rotation and the mark is going to be somewhere over here past the red mark. All right, so we have two black marks and I made the tape. Okay, so now I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to fold this tape in half. So here's my tape. It's folded in half. Here's my red mark. Teeny tick. Okay, half the difference. So now we'll grab this. I've already removed my piston stop. We'll rotate it and see if my mark is the same as the general. It is. See? General's mark is on the money. As it should be, because this is a factory engine with a factory crank. Now, in the case of this car, here's what I did. There's my tape. And then I fold it in half and I lay it right there. Okay. And I lay it right there. So I bring the engine up to top dead center and line that up on the zero. I make a, a different mark out of a different color. Uh, it's going to be on the timing index. And probably it's going to be like right about. It's going to be probably right about there. So you're splitting hairs, but one and a half degrees is not splitting hairs on a performance application where you're really leaning on it. So that's another check. You can also check this and should check this uh, when the engine is built on the stand on every build. So finding true top dead center. What makes true top dead center off? Um, the keyway, where it's on a crank. Um, the crank could be ground a little off one way or the other. When it's ground, things aren't perfect. Um, you could have 
this index could be wrong the way it's made or it could be in a different spot on say like an aftermarket timer cover so you got to verify all that stuff so now that i know i have a true top dead center when i do the base timing i know that my base time is accurate let's say if it was off eight degrees and it was really up here and i shot my base timing down there obviously it would be not correct but one and a half degrees is not a big error but it's good to know and it's good to fix it